Why this is happening on Netflix? Okay, uh, Carmen Eugenia. All right, so she appears there. Okay, uh, Christian Alejandro. All right, so not here. Very few people are getting connected. Uh, Daniel Archimedes. Present. Okay. Daisy Maricela. Present. Okay. Very good. Edwin Alexander. All right, so not here. Edwin Vladimir. Not here yet. Estela Mabel. Okay, no here. Uh, Fátima Adriana. Okay, so just not here yet. Fátima Lourdes. Fatima here. Okay, so she's, but is okay. Jaime Antonio. Okay, Eduardo Jose, right? So he won't be here anymore. So Carla Lisette. Okay, it's not here. Kenya Cecilia. Jesus Christ, everybody's out of here. Uh, Lorena Beatriz. Okay, no here. Manuel Antonio. Okay, so no here. Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay. Mary Raquel. All right, so Mary didn't get connected anymore. That's weird. No, Emi Betsabe. Okay, so she is not here yet. Ospin Alexis. Present. Okay, great. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, so basically we are going to start with the class, even though we got very few people connected today. That's pretty weird. That's pretty weird. I am here, teacher. Okay, can you? Okay, can... I'm going to add you in the attendance list. Give me one second. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Let me see who else is in here. Oh, Lorena is here. Okay. So I'm just gonna add her. All right, just give me a second, guys. Someone is contacting me. Give me a second. All right, so let's continue. Uh, if you guys go on page 23, okay, from your manual, give me a second. It's not 23, it's gonna be page 30. Okay, on your manuals, let's open up. We're gonna go straight there. And we are going to be talking about Okay, uh, tonight about suggestions to solve common issues related to warehouse processes. That's going to be the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight. All right, let me see. Let me gonna check on that. Okay, so I am going to show you guys. Give me a second. Okay, it's going to be this one. All 
Jesus is getting this low this thing. Okay, but it's that's fun. Okay, it says uh we're gonna we are going to be you know like discussing about suggestions related to warehouse management issues. Okay, and in here we got a couple of questions that we would like to you know like start. Uh, that I would like to start with with you guys. Uh, but I need just to check on how many people I just got getting connected. Okay. Uh, the first question it says, what are some common issues related to warehouse management? And the second one it says, how can these issues affect productivity? Okay. So. In this case, since we are just, uh, let me see, the ones that are connected. David, you're still uh, on the way home, right? Yes, um, five more minutes, please. Okay, great. Okay, so just got, okay, perfect. What are we going to do with this information, guys? Listen, since uh, uh, I have taken in consideration like the, the fact that it's better for you guys to be discussing uh, this type of uh, questions with your classmates, uh, we're gonna keep the same way uh, tonight. What are we going to do? Listen, uh, we're gonna go over the uh, breakout rooms and I want we to discuss these questions, all right? But in this case, we're gonna do it with fewer people and I don't know why the rest is not getting connected tonight. All right, but uh, we're going to start with these two questions. Remember the first one, what are some common issues related to warehouse management? And the second one, how can these issues affect productivity? Okay, let's remember that this is like something really important as well, right? Uh, okay, Elwin, thank you for telling me that you're driving. Uh, home so okay so we're going to start with that guys okay so i'm gonna stop sharing this because i do really want you to give me your ideas right but firstly i would like you to discuss this among you guys but before starting with this i would like to start with uh, the ones who are as a listener so i don't want to mix you up guys lorena are you going to be as a listener tonight Lorena, are you there? Uh, okay, I think she's she's uh, going to be as a listener. Fatima Lourdes. Are you there, Fatima? Teacher, I need some minutes because I am in a call. Mm, okay, but anyways. Uh, when I uh, available, I, I will tell you. Okay, great. Thank you for telling me. But even though I'm going to include you in a breakout room, okay? So please try to accept it. Carla, are you as a listener as well? Jesus Christ, everybody's as a listener tonight. You're working, Carla? Hmm. I, I don't know if you're speaking, Carla, but, but I don't listen to you. Jesus Christ, the last day and everybody is flying away. <laughs> okay. Most of your classmates didn't, uh, you know, wait for the vacations to start. But anyways, let's do it with us three. Ah, so... Let me see as a listener. Okay, Carla, thank you for letting me know. So Edwin is driving. Okay, Carla's gonna be as a listener. Kenny is on a call. Fatima probably is working. Lorena didn't answer, probably just working as well. Okay, good. Daniel and Osbin. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start with you. I think it's not really necessary to go over the breakout rooms. Because I mean, we are very few people just to discuss this, okay? So let's go over this in here, guys, okay? And I'm gonna start with uh, one of you guys. What do you think about this? What are some common issues related to warehouse management? Let's start with that. 
probably I uh, like keep it good many good, good communication between the the workers because it's not easy like work with different words or different kind of minds and some of them probably could be like a, a lazy workers and others probably they are like I don't mind or something like that and if they are like that way in their jobs and the 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 job or the what they have to do will be like harder or will not be um doing the right way ah okay okay that's a good aspect right if there's not a good communication inside yeah the warehouse that's going to be a huge problem right okay that might affect what the productivity of a company okay very good osmin why do you think it might be another problem that might affect the warehouse management? Hi, teacher. Um, Hi. I believe it's a, I, it's a inventory management. Inventory management? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. That might be a common issue. Why a, an inventory management can be as a common issue? Mm. The, there's, um, there is no uh, org there in the warehouse. Mm. Ah, okay, that might not be an order like in, in, in the warehouse, okay. Yes, and in some case at the warehouse, show uh, uh no, no no space but mm -hmm. is is a disorder and, and the product mm -hmm. and they warehouse need more wraps i i i believe need more wraps need more orders need it uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. it makes sense what you're saying. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you, Ospin, for your participation. Lacey, what can you tell us about this? Any possible issue, eh, Daisy, that can be related to the warehouse management? Daisy, you there? Is it me or you don't listen? Daisy? <laughs> Daisy, are you there? Okay, I am not in mute. <laughs> okay, I guess she probably got the problems with the audio. So let's move. Daniel, how about you, Daniel? The first question or the second question? The first one. The first, the first one. Yeah, the first, first one. one. Uh -huh. A common issue related to the warehouse management. Mm -hmm. um, I, I guess that um, the most important is the communication. I think is uh, it's the focus of the problem is the warehouse about the management mm -hmm. call have. So other thing that's the the tool that possible does it have the, the tool necessary to develop these works, I think. Um, maybe the personnel in charge of this, the, this, the departments, the possibility that they don't know how to develop the, the activity, I think. Mm -hmm. okay. 
Okay, all right. He makes sense what you said. All right. Thank you, Daniel. Okay. So let's remember, guys, uh, that there, there are a lot of uh, issues that might, uh, you know, like be found, especially in the warehouse management, right? One very important issue, it's like the one that you have mentioned, okay, uh, and as well as Gabby, all right? The lack of communication. Sometimes it's like uh, super difficult to keep up uh, a good job, especially when workers don't get along each other sometimes, or there are workers that are like hardworking pe people, you know, and there are some of them that are like, ah, like, eh, I don't want to work. I'm just here because eh, it's part of my, my, my job, but that's it, right? And uh, it's like kind of difficult to keep up people like that, right? And uh, when there's not good communication, uh, there are different consequences, right? One of the main consequences that it might be is like the warehouse might get, you know, full with uh, uh, products and everything and uh, they don't like give, a, you know, like an out to the product and that might affect obviously the productivity, right? So in that case, it's something really, 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 bad for the company so now but how can these issues affect productivity why do you think these issues might affect productivity if you're talking about lack of communication how lack of communication might affect productivity why do you think that might happen The lack of communication may affect productivity. Or do you or, or you don't think it may affect productivity, guys? The lack of communication. Yes, it does, because for example, if mm -hmm. the manager of the person who's in charge in charge of the of ops, of the, the pro the production department if he if he or she says that they need a certain amount of products mm -hmm. and uh, the workers are like, like are like no paying attention probably they will produce uh, less or more and even it could be on a, the time that they need it because probably they they could ask it for 1 p.m and they are and they are like <laughs> spending time in other things not doing their job and they are like working really slow i think could be now okay very good yeah i mean that is like something uh, that might affect as well right okay thank you gabby thank you okay so in that way yeah i mean uh, that's like the way how communication may uh, the lack of communication basically might affect this productivity inside a warehouse right good now we're gonna now uh, discuss and do this guys check this out daisy were you back now can can you listen to me or are you still having issues uh daisy Okay. Are you listening to me, Daisy? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna text her. So probably she has audio problems. Give me a second, guys. All right, so probably he, 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 she cannot listen to me. Because for this activity, I do really need her. Otherwise, I won't have nobody. 
Daisy, you there, Daisy? All right. All right. Give me a second, guys. I just need to fix uh, this issue with Daisy. So we can go over some short discussion. Yeah, I mean, I guess everybody's on vacation. So that's why most of your classmates didn't get connected today. Oh, probably is because today it was the last day of the month. And a lot of, of, of you guys got reports to do, got a lot of things to be done at the end of the month. I guess probably that's the reason why a lot of these people are not here. Okay, so we're just gonna wait for her to be connected again, okay, and uh, okay, just give me a second, guys. Why are you keeping on? Okay, give me a second, guys. All right, great. Anyways, is Daisy back? Okay, so she is not back. All right, guys, what I'm going to do is like just to work with you three. Okay, there's no other way. Daniel, at least turn on the, the, the camera, Daniel. We are just three, Daniel. Yes, we're gonna... <laughs> Well, I keep on working out three. Okay, what are we going to do, guys? Listen, Anna Daisy is coming. Give me a second. <laughs> that was crazy, man. Okay, good. I am just getting connected. What are we going to do with this information, guys? Listen, in here it says, Daisy, can you listen to us now? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Now you solve the issue. Yeah, I mean, and I was like, Daisy, can you listen to us? Daisy, Daisy. And you were like, <laughs> I'm not paying attention to the teacher. I don't want to participate. <laughs> but I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem. The good thing is that you're back. Okay. And now we are four. So you see, I just got three more people besides you. I don't know where is the rest. <laughs> okay, but anyways. Let's just start over, guys. What are we going to do here? Listen, it says, imagine you are a warehouse manager, okay? And you are experiencing problems with inventory counts and misplaced products. Which of the following issues will you solve first? And here it says like a couple of indications. Check this out. The first one, it says, Rank the issues, listen, rank the issues from one, least affect productivity to five, most affects productivity. Okay, this is like the way how we're gonna be doing this. And then discuss this ranking with, you know, like among you. Now, the first one is like inaccurate receipts and purchase orders, lack of communication between employees, lack of cooperation between departments, time management, and warehouse space and organization. Which one do you think it might affect the most to the warehouse? Put it like number five. The one that less affects the productivity, put it as a number one. 
okay? So this is like the ranking that you're gonna have, right? From the least uh, that might affect uh, the productivity to the one that most affects the productivity, okay? This is like what we're going to start first. But by doing this, I would like we to, you know, like get together and discuss this. Uh, and since you are only three, well, I just need you three guys. Give me a second. Okay, great. Help me out, guys. Let's discuss that one, that, that part in pairs. While I'm gonna text your classmates, these people. Anyway, so I'm going to. Thirty. Thirty. Okay. Uh, yes, let's start. Imagine using our logics uh, order, order in logics. Imagine you are a warehouse manager and you are, uh, you are experiencing problems with every counts and misplaced products, which the following use will you solve first? Run the issues from one less affects productivity to five most affects productivity. Discuss the ranking with partner. Yeah, number okay. five, there, Mr. Carlo, the number five is the most most affects productivity. Yeah, the one that affects the most the productivity. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And this is okay. like to be the employees like operation. So you're gonna go over okay. from one to five. Remember, the, number one is that the less affection uh, affects the, the production, right? And number two, number three, number four, number five, the number five is the one that, that is like more affecting the productivity, okay? Okay. Okay. Great. I I think uh, the number one uh, maybe lack of communication between employees. Yes. The that's possible. Yes, but it's okay. One. But um, like if you're right. Like number one, uh, lack of indication between employees. Yeah, that you say, uh, you see. I think. Um, let me check. Think, I need. To do you think the lack of the, do you think the lack of communication may not affect the productivity? Yes. 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 Affect, but what is the level that affects? The, we don't know. Mm -hmm. In the corner. Yes, for well, is the first, number one. And the second <laughs> one be, <laughs> the second one could be. Uh, lack of cooperation between the permit? Yes. Yes, I think. The other mm. 
number three, maybe time management or no, oh no. Yes. Time management. I don't know. What do you think? The other. Maybe natural recipes and purchaser order could be the third one. Can put this one. But okay. thank you. I see the virtual will be that uh -huh. recipes and purchase. Hi, hey, teacher. How you go, guys? Teacher, I I understand. I understand that uh, is uh, is putting in order with with I think I will solve first, right? Exactly. No, but let's remember the items in there are going to be marked, or the issues in this case are uh yeah because there are issues. The issues that you set up in number one is the issue that uh, may not affect by any chance the productivity. And the issue that you set up at, with number five are the, is the issue that it is damaging, basically, the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, okay. For example, warehouse space and organization is not affect the productivity. Now, nah, okay, if you think it may not affect, so it, it might be number one. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. All right, so are you doing that individually? No, no. Is a yeah. market. Sorry, we're just like thinking and and then we're going to compare. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I got you. Okay, perfect. Okay, Mari. We finished, teacher. You're done? Okay, great. We finish. Okay, perfect. So I'll go over uh, Gabby. And... Only Daniel and I. Okay, so that... The same way is Gabriela with Osmin. And that's it. I don't know why uh, all of all of your classmates, well, most of the classmates didn't get connected tonight. That's weird. I only the number two we need to solve. Uh, in this case, Mr. Carlos. And yeah, only that one. Yeah, because then we're gonna move on to the next one. But I would like uh, would to set up something clear in there. Okay, so I'll go and check if Gabby has already finished. Give me one sec. Okay. Yes, I agree. I agree with you. It's, it's okay. Okay, finish them. You finish? Yeah. Let's go back.
All right, so let's start over. Uh, Daniel and Daisy, I would like to listen to you guys. Which one did you choose first? Uh, which one was the second one and why? Give me a second, I'm gonna share that. Okay, I'm all here, guys. Okay. Uh, we consider uh, the most important is lack of communication between employees. Mm -hmm. Number one. And number two, lack of, co lack, lack of cooperation between the permit. And number three, in a, I don't know what is the pronunciation, in a curate. Where is that? Number three, <clears throat> in a curate receipts and purchase ah, orders. Inaccurate. 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 Uh -huh. Aha. Is number three and number four time management and number five warehouse space and organization. Uh, okay. Daniel, to explain. <laughs> okay. uh, I uh, um, I think in my in my case that um, I, I I was thinking about the the indication. That's the indication say, right? The issues from one less affect productivity to five most affect uh, productivity. I feel a little confused because we we need to switch the order because the less affect our production could be the warehouse space or organization. If the most affects our productivity, is a lack of communication between employees uh, because uh, in this case it is very important and necessary to have a communication between managers uh, supervisor supervisors between employees uh, uh, they think that uh, if we have a good communication we call have uh, less production. Uh, for this, uh, they see we we was so confused uh, in this case. Uh, is correct, Mister Carlos? Which one you said? That the most affect productivity is lack of communication between employees. Hmm. Like is it number five in this case? Is it uh -huh. number five then? No. It might be possible. So for is because it's the most, uh, is this point affects the productivity. For me, if we have any communication, uh, less or uh, wrong, a uh, bad communication, the productivity can, we can do it, I think. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, because if you're talking about communication between employees, remember that's something really critical, right? Especially when it comes to a warehouse option. Okay, so in that case, yeah, that might affect in a huge way, all right, that type of productivity. But also, it will depend on your perspective, right? It will depend on your perspective, which one might be, you know, like uh, more than the other ones. Okay, so in the case, so you set up like a number five, that one? Yeah. Uh, for, for the, uh, 
Uh, they see I me first with, uh, in my case, I feel confused, but I don't know if, if the race is, uh, is clear that the, uh, let me see. The indication is that the number one, we can select the less affect productivity, but we put the most affects productivity as a number one. For it, I believe I'm a bit confused. But, but, but that is, for me, uh, the most effective productivity is lack of communication between employees. And the second one for me is lack of cooperation between the parliament. And number three is innocuous recipe than for justice order. For me, it's a, uh, number two, time management. And the, for me, for less effect productivity is where I have space and organization. Because the productivity um, is, I think, is when you you are making use you make the production. For me, the productivity is when you make the production. But I think, I think but I, I know, please clarify. <laughs> yeah, I mean, actually, yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Good participation, Daniel and Daisy. Thank you, Gabby and Oswin. I were discussing with Osbin and we think that the one that most affected the activity was time management. <laughs> After that, uh, number four would be lack, lack of communication between employees. Uh, between the departments. And Osmin, would you like to say the, the one or the two? Yes, um, number two for us is a warehouse space and organization. And number one is the less, the less affect the productivity for us is a, in a great receipt and purchase order. Uh, inaccurate receipts and purchase orders. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, might be taken as 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 like the list one, right? Mm. Okay. Very good. Now, think on this, guys. Think on this. From all these four, I want to choose. I want you to choose one. Pick. One, okay, pick one. And I will give you two minutes for you to think in a possible solution for that issue. Okay, think on one of these sentences issues that we got over here. I'm gonna headline them. Now, think on a possible solution for this issue, okay? I will give you two minutes for you to clarify what possible solution might you give to a sentence like this. When you feel ready, guys, just let me know. But let's remember, just take one. Please repeat the indication because I, I didn't, or I am clear, it's not clear for me. Okay, okay. From the sentences that you were discussing, the issues in a warehouse, choose one, okay? Only one, choose one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now I will give you two minutes for you, Daniel, to give me a possible solution for that issue. Okay? Okay. Perfect. What will be that possible solution? 
right? Good. When you got something, guys, turn on your microphone and let me know. Hey, teacher, I want to participate in this. So you four guys are going to participate. No matter what, you will. So let me know once you finish. You can choose between, uh, ah, inaccurate receipts and purchase orders, lack of communication between employers, lack of cooperation between what? Departments, all right, that's another one. Time management. Okay, they gotta be like, you know, timed and warehouse and space. I mean, warehouse space and organization. Let me know, guys, when you finish or when you have already thought on one. I think I'm ready. Okay, good. Let's just... uh, with the tank management. Um, I I suppose an option could be that um probably you uh set some goals mm -hmm. from uh, for every day or or for example for half day until until uh, 12 or until one or probably something like that mm -hmm. or the whole day um, you can not know um like a given incentive something like yeah a reward in this case uh, they offer a reward if they achieve that goal every day and if they don't well they don't receive a reward i think it's a good way and and also another reward for uh, for a high quality also because we're not going to sacrifice quality for a number of products, I think. Mm, good, good, good. I like the idea that you got. Okay, perfect. Thank you, uh, uh, Gabby. Okay, she got a good idea on that. Let me know when you feel ready, guys. The, me, Mr. Carlos. Mm. Let's go, Daniel. The, the, issue, the issue that I select is la lack of communication between employees. Mm -hmm. For some issue for me is uh, uh, share information with employees. Do a meeting. Do make meeting for give the information information update. Mm -hmm. Explain well the activity. Uh, clarify if they have a doubt. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh huh. That might be a possible solution for the lack of communication between employees. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Yeah, right. Besides that, um, we can set up goals as 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 part as Gavi was saying in that area. Yeah, right. Like try to tell uh, the workers, hey, you know what? We gotta do this job by this specific time. If you get it, guys, you might get some kind of reward, right? So in that case, people will feel motivated, right? And try to reach that goal. 
Mm, and we can improve in a somehow the, the, the communication that way. Yeah, because I don't know why, but in a lot of company, people don't get along. <laughs> Workers don't get along each other. And I don't know why. I mean, they don't get along each other. Yeah, that happens very often. It's like Gabby saying, I mean, I cannot stand us being pretty close on me in the company. Oh, I hate Daisy. I don't want to see her there. And look at Daisy like faster. <laughs> but, our, but there are there are workers like that, right? So I don't know why, but it always happens. Okay, good. Thank you, Daniel. No, Daisy or Osmin? Who wants to be first? Uh, teacher. Okay, for me, uh, warehouse space in a organization, mm -hmm. and we solve that issue and maintaining clean the warehouse uh -huh. and maintain this uh, organization that we are how to and the floor there there should be a plan for for the space in the floor mm -hmm. but uh, but uh, make a optimum process in flow ah uh, you have been making an the other, the other the other solution is a uh, provide maps in the warehouse science to create a great inventory management management mm, okay okay good idea thank you oswin all right and there you see. Okay. Um, I think uh, the process lack of cooperation between the department. Mm -hmm. Improving cooperation is important for me since uh, it depends on completing process for mm -hmm. better productivity. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Yeah, I mean, the departments have to get along each other, right? Just imagine, Daisy, you're working in human resources department and Gabby is working in what? Accountant department, right? And just imagine you don't get along with Gabby. So Gabby got sick and Gabby wants, a, 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 I don't know, a kind of a receipt or something or, or constancy. And she goes to you and says, hey, you know, they see I got sick, so I need this this from you. And he says, like, no, you got to work. So just mm -hmm. imagine that way. So problems start racing from there, right? And step by step, issues are getting higher, higher, bigger, bigger into, all right, you know, departments. And that might not happen sometimes. It's like, Ah, weird for that to happen. But in a lot of companies, happened, right? <laughs> okay, great, guys. Now, let's continue this. Check this out. In here, we've got a couple of definitions and a couple of concepts. In here, it says, building vocabulary. Label the warehousing alternatives to their corresponding definitions. So we got a series of definitions in here, guys. Okay, this is what each one of this uh, each of these words uh, mean. For example, drop shipping, public warehouse, private warehouse, direct shipping, and contract warehouse. Okay, what are we gonna do? Since we are in two powerful pairs, we're just gonna go over this and you're gonna discuss, guys, which one belongs to, all right? Which one in here related to the context, right? When you got them, we're gonna come in here and we are, we are going to discuss each one of them, right? Just if you don't really understand each one of them, okay? So I'll go ahead and stop sharing and i'm gonna send you guys 
work in the breakout rooms, right? As the way you have been doing it. Perfect. Let's accept it, guys. Guys, you there? Al cliente directamente. Eh, direct shipping. Direct shipping is, I think, eh, this is a met method of delivering goods from the supplier to the customer direct. Sounds, yeah. Okay. Direct shipping. So, yes, this is a method of delivering goods from the supplier to the customer directly. Okay. The next, let me, let me, let me read. <laughs> yes, me too. Let me understand. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, try to discuss, try to read each concept, each other, and then you can discuss it, right? Like, what do you understand? So both of you might choose the correct one, okay? Yes, okay. Hi. Right. Let's remember when I start finishing, you got to compare answers, okay? Just to check if you got both ways correct. Okay, are you ready? I am analyzing that. That, um, I have just done one. <laughs> The number one, I <laughs> think it's uh, direct shipping. Give me a second. Uh, yes, yes, I agree with you. It's direct shipping. <laughs> I'm going to get the charger for this computer. Give me one second. Okay, continue discussing. Okay, yeah, I'm coming back. Okay. <laughs> okay. For me, number two is a private warehouse. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. But... Uh, the third one is pretty similar. Warehouse owned by a third party entity. This warehouse provides specialized safe service in addition to allowing the client to store goods. This warehouse provides specialized service. Will be that uh, a contract warehouse. Yes, but me is okay. Contract warehouse. Ah, okay. Warehouse. Okay. The four retailer does not keep goods in sub and instead transferring customer orders um, directly to the customer. Drop shipping? Yes, I agree with you. And the last one obviously would be uh, will be public warehouse. Yes. Public. Yes, public warehouse. <laughs> yeah, done. Okay. 
That's yeah. a, number one, direct shipping. Number two, yeah. provide warehouse. Yes. Number three, contract warehouse. Uh -huh. Four, drop shipping. Mm -hmm. And five, public warehouse. Yes. Yes, okay. it is. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> How easy you got it, huh? Hmm. Probably it's not okay, but it's done. <laughs> it's not the case. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, great. Uh, I need to check if these other people have already finished. Give me one second. I'm going to go back, okay? Nice. What's up, guys? You finish? No, yet. Hmm. Where are you going on? Uh, do you select is the storage facility that is open public? Yes, public warehouse storage facility. The last. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know, understand <laughs> because the audio have problem. Yeah, yeah, I think it was interrupted, Daniel. When you were speaking, it was like, uh, 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 uh. So repeat it, <laughs> repeat again for her. Sorry. <laughs> Let me rest the mic of my tongue. Daisy, what question, Daisy? Uh, where, where did you get those uh, it is, phones? It is operate also in independent business is I think uh, private warehouse. Yeah, yeah, for me, yes. Uh huh. I don't know. I think which number? Number two. Number two is private warehouse. Private. 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 Right. You're right. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but how many are you missing? Don't get complicated. I just choose the one that you think it might be correct, okay? Then we're gonna go to the main section and just check, okay? How many are you missing? 
for uh, I, 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 you. <laughs> you lazy. The you are same. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. And the number two is uh, maybe contract warehouse. No, number three. Number three, I, I contract I, warehouse. Number three, I put drop shipping on the drop shipping. But I know what. Ah, one of them one of you, uno de los dos tiene razón, pero no les voy a decir quién todavía. Teacher, please. I think I, the number three is. Pongan lo que les dicta su corazón, right? And what you read. Ya después de una semana de trabajo ya no tenemos corazón ni mente. Believe me, believe me that I'm like. Mis like neuronas. Neuronas. <laughs> Mis oh neuronas se quemaron viernes a las 10 de la noche casi. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, I mean, everybody's neurons, mine as well. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but let, let's do something. Let's go to the main section and let's fix that there. So Daisy might say, I am right. Or maybe Daniel said, I was right. Okay. Let's go <laughs> we'll check. <laughs> okay, see okay. you there. See you there, guys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Here it comes my crowded room. <laughs> Where are the other ones? It's just you, Daisy and Daniel. Where is Ospin and, and, and Gabby? They left already or what? <laughs> oh my God. Anna, they are coming. Where is Osbin? Ah, yeah, Osbin is there. And now my crowded room is completed. Jesus Christ. I got a lot of people here wanting to participate in everything. <laughs> okay, great, guys. Let's check. Yeah, because if I don't start, probably not everybody is going to participate, right? Okay, I'm going to project this. Oh my God, I want to cry. Okay, good. So we got here drop shipping, public warehouse, private warehouse, direct shipping, and contract warehouse, right? Okay, let's start over. Daisy. Help me out reading this concept, please. This concept, read it for me, please. Okay. This is a method of delivering goods from the supplier to the customer directly. Okay. Daisy, according to what you were discussing with uh, Daniel, what? is the def the concept that best suit this definition we think direct shipping direct shipping direct shipping uh -huh. ah okay let me write it down in here you got direct 
shipping. Okay, let me ask these people. Osbin and Gabi, do you agree with this? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, very good. Yes, Daisy, you are correct. Okay, very good. Okay, perfect. Now, one and one, Osbin, read the second uh, definition, please. Okay. It is operated as an independent business offering a range of services, mm -hmm. such as storage, handling, and transportation on the basis of a fixed or available free. Of a very variable fee. Okay. Variable fee. Okay. All right. Osbin, according to what you were discussing with Gavi, which is the concept that best suit this definition? Um, it's a private warehouse. Uh, you got a private private um, warehouse like this, right? Hmm. Okay, Daisy and uh, Ospin. I mean, and Daniel. Do you agree with Osbin and Gabi? Yes or no? Yes, in my case, yes. Daisy? In my case, no. <laughs> Why not, Daisy? Uh, because I think the private warehouse is the number three. Number three. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to read that part. It says, warehouse owned by a third party entity. So in this case, it's owned by a third party entity. These warehouses provide a specialized services in addition to allowing to the client to store goods. Uh, basically, this is like the warehouse of a third uh, party entity or company, right? You remember the TPL third party logistics company? Okay, so this is one. So when something like that happens, I'm sorry to tell you, Daisy, that is not something private actually it is private but it's called differently that way because the warehouse in this case is not like yours from your company right so it's a third party company that that owns the the warehouse so in this case the number two it has to be a private warehouse and number three daisy if a private warehouse is number two which one do you think is number three? And Daniel can help you up. Daniel can help you up, okay? We select this, this concept and think Marie <laughs> because it's not clear for me. <laughs> <laughs> <So my. laughs> it's your advice for us <laughs> you know you know you know you know why you, you know you know something guys you want me to tell you a sec a secret <laughs> when, I, when i was at the university and i was doing a very important <laughs> exam <laughs> and i was doing a very, and i was doing <laughs> a very important exam you know what? Yes. I got frustrated <laughs> so much that I forgot everything. Your hair, you say. <laughs> I forgot everything completely. We can hear you. And you know what? What I did? Because the exam was like, like just, just to fill a little, some little bubbles, right? A, B, C, and D, all right? And they were like, aha. Uh -huh. Is my sound because I can't hear you? Uh -huh. 
Can you guys listen to me? Perfectly. I think it's your audio, Daniel. <laughs> it's, <laughs> your audio. All right. it's yes, I have a problem with my audio. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So basically what I did in that exam is like I had a 10, a, a 25 cents. I had a 25 cents coin on my pocket. And I says like, I took it out and I said, all right, since I don't have nothing in my mind, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna throw the coin. If it fakes face, I'm gonna set one specific bubble. If it is like, like the, the other side, I'm gonna set this one. And I did that for every, every, uh, basically half of the exam, I did it like that. Almost 50 questions. You know what? I got 80% good from that exam. And I was like, ah, how is that possible? I still got, I still have those 25 cents there saved because they provide me good luck that day. <laughs> experiences that happen and that was eight years ago guys <laughs> oh my if God. i try to do that i am a hundred percent well 99 that's nine percent sure that i will fail that exam i have a very bad luck <laughs> you were the one you, you were that kind of a students that the only lucky part that you had is like to get number uh, the number one group for the expositions <laughs> Exactly, it always happened. And like I'm the first uh, first student or the third, I'm between the 10 first students. So I'm almost always like the first uh, participant in everything. You know what? I used to have bad luck on that as well. And that was one. And, uh, it was one time that I said, you know what? I'm always the first one who pick up a paper and I got number one all the time. So I'm gonna be smart this time. I'm gonna let all my classmates to choose one number. And the last one that remains there, I'm gonna choose that one. Guess what? I got number one again. <laughs> and that was the last one. Oh, and I remember those days. Everybody were hating at me because of, because of you, we're gonna be the number one and blah, 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 blah. Sorry, you said. Ah, good times those ones. Right? Okay, but anyways, in this case, guys, Daisy, your final concept in number three is yes, yes, oh. drop shipping. <laughs> so you chose Daniel's answer, right? Yes. Yeah, it's the same answer. You know what, but... Daisy. <laughs> But Let me we tell you. no, Let we didn't put an um, agree. We didn't agree, but in actually, this... actually, 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 she agrees with you because she had a contract warehouse, and you told her that uh, you had drop chef chipping. I have a a bit uh, doubt because drop shipping is a similar a direct shipping. Not actually. And I, I will let you know uh, why. Daisy, you know what? At first you were right. That is contract warehouse. And you change it. <laughs> Number okay. three is, yeah, contract warehouse over here. Give me a second, I'm gonna write it down in here. <clears throat> Why is a contract warehouse? Because you are hiring a third party logistics company, all right? Because of that. And then we got number four. Mm -hmm -hmm. Gabby. Read the definition in number four, please. And then let me know which concept you had. 
The retailer does does not keep goods in stock, but instead instead transfer customer orders and shipment details to the manufacturer, another retail or a wholesaler, who then uh, ships to ships the goods directly 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 to that word. <laughs> it's really hard to <laughs> and the answer is uh, drop shipping. Okay, this is a drop shipping. Okay. Okay, great. Yeah, that's what it is. This is a drop shipping. And the last one, Osbin, help me out reading the last one, please. Okay. It is a storage facility that is open to the general public. Mm -hmm. While this kind of warehouse is used by private individuals, they are also used by companies of small and medium size to store their goods safely. 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 Okay, very good. So that's the last one, right? Public. Public. Warehouse. Warehouse. Okay, Daniel, you were telling me that if drop shipping is likely similar to direct shipping, right? What's yes. your thoughts? Okay. I read. don't know. Okay, no. let's read what direct shipping is. Check this out. It says, this is a method of delivering goods from the supplier to the customer directly. In, in this case, Daniel, who's the supplier? Uh-huh. For you, who's the supplier? Mm, repeat again because it's not clear. Who can be the supplier? This one. What is a supplier, Daniel? Who is the supplier? Uh -huh. Or what is a supplier? I don't understand the question. The word supplier, Daniel. What is that? Supplier is uh, when when you need something is uh, the other half the the thing that that you needed is uh, to give you the the thing. It, I will put you this is, situation, Daniel. I will put you this situation. Let's suppose you have a store, okay? Let's suppose uh -huh. you have a store and I am the supplier. So I buy the product in bulk from mm -hmm. the production company and I yeah. distribute the product to you, okay? So I am your supplier, right? Uh-huh. All right, a supplier is basically like a provider. Oh, provider, it's similar, yeah. right? It's likely similar to a supplier. Okay, now in this case, it's like when there is like a direct shipping, it's basically when is the delivering of goods, I mean the product, right? Directly from the supplier to the customer. And in here, we don't have like any other kind of intermediate, intermediate. Uh, company, okay? Or entity, it goes directly to you. Uh, okay. Company, okay? Now, yeah. what happened with a drop shipping? Check this out. It says, where, uh, let me see, the retailer does not keep goods in the stock, but instead, transfer customer orders and shipment details to the manufacturer, another retailer or a wholesaler who then ships the goods directly to the customer. In this case, there is no a, a direct contact from the customer to uh -huh. the producer. No, in this case, there is an intermediate uh, and yeah. okay, it's necessary to to use a retailer. Exactly, it's like this. You have your store. Gabby mm -hmm. is the producer. Okay, 
Yeah. You are the store. You got the store. Gabby is the producer. And I am this, the retailer. And you tell yeah. you tell me, hey Juan, I need certain amount of product uh, for next week. I need this product, this, 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 and this. Okay. And I tell you, okay, you will have your product. And I come and I call directly to Gabriela and I tell, hey Gabby. I got this customer that needs this and this and this product, okay, uh, from your company. Can you please send the product from your company directly to the customer? And Gabby says, okay, I will do it. So Gabby, with her provider, that probably might be Osbin, send the product directly to the customer. But the customer doesn't have contact with Gabby. Uh -huh. I am the intermediate, all right, entity that that, that requests the the order, right? Okay, that's, the that's clear. Yes. Above. All right. So that's the difference. Yes. The above. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a drop shipping, all right, and a direct shipping. Direct. So like thank you. From the yeah. from the manufacturer directly to the customer, and in the other one there is an intermediate, all right, entity. Yeah. Great. That's clear. Thank you for nice, clarifying. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, guys, I wanted to show I want to show you something before moving on from there. Ah, Manuel is here. Is that Manuel? Now we are five. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Sorry, Hello. I'm late. I I was working tonight no, and no problem, Mister. No problem. The good thing is that you're connected. We need more people here. That everybody's like, uh, 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 as, a, as a listener, oh, sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Thank you. Today, <laughs> okay. I want to show you something, guys. A a grammar part. So, this. I want to show you this, okay? So remember, the topic that we're discussing is providing suggestions to solve common issues related to warehouse processes, right? Okay, so now let's start with that. We're gonna focus on the grammar part like this. Like, how to use clauses with when and if to express future conditions. Okay, in other words, guys, we are going to be talking about first conditional. That's the proper name for this structure. First conditional. But let's see what is that about, okay? Daniel, help me reading. Okay. Causes with when or if describe what you think you will do or what will happen in a specific situation in the future. Ah, okay. In a specific situations in the future. That's why it's condition. In this kind of uh, sentences, there's always a cause and effect. Cause and effect. Okay. So, but let's take a look at the grammar part, how to create them. And then we're gonna provide a couple of examples as well. Okay, Daisy, help me out reading this one. When there are inaccurate. Inna in <laughs> listen, inaccurate. Inaccurate purchase uh -huh. orders. Uh -huh. Customers' sat satisfaction will be compromised. 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 Okay, good. What is inaccurate? You might say something that is not accurate. <laughs> but what, <laughs> <laughs> no, but what is inaccurate? Like equivocado. Okay, or inexact right okay very good yeah that's what it is like something that is not really exact very good now let look at this it says when there is 
I mean, when there are inaccurate purchase orders, you see guys that there is a comma after orders. I will set this on, uh, no, 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 better for you to understand. Okay, check this out. I got when over here and I have a comma over here. Listen, every time, every time you're talking, every time you talk about a condition using when or using if, and you set that sentence at the beginning, no matter if it is when or if at the beginning, you have to separate the sentences with a comma, the cause and effect. In this case, it says, when there are inaccurate purchase orders, that's the cause, right? And it comes the effect. Listen, customer's satisfaction will be compromised. Cause first and then the effect. And remember, if you are going to write down the word when or the word if at the beginning of the sentence, you have to separate the sentences with a comma. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Check this one out. Manuel, help me on reading. Our customer satisfaction will be comprom will be compromised when there when there are inaccurate purchase orders. All right, inaccurate purchase orders. Thank you, Manuel. So check this out, guys. Customers' satisfaction will be compromised when there are inaccurate purchase orders. What happened in this case? Where is located? In this case, the word when. Where is it located? It's in the middle of the sentence. Look, I got it in here. So when the effect goes first in a sentence, and then you set the cause, you don't need to separate both sentences with a comma. A comma is not necessary. Remember, a comma is only necessary when the word when or the word if goes at the beginning. But if they go in the middle, remember, don't write a comma. Are you guys understanding this? Daniel, Osmin, everything okay? Daisy? Okay. Daisy. Yes. Okay, can you? Yes. For the moment, yes. There you go. Okay, good. Let's let's do another example so that way you will understand better. Give me a second. Check this out, guys. Let's suppose this is the cause. And hear the effect. Look at this. Check this out. When workers don't have a good communication, what might happen in this case? What will be the effect? Listen, I got when at the beginning, right? Of the sentence. So because I have when at the beginning of the sentence, I am in the obligation, guys, to do what? To set up a comma here, here, like this. When workers don't have a good communication. Ah, something else that you have to remember. This sentence, the one that uh, is start with when or if, it has to be in simple present only. In simple present only, okay? When workers don't have a good communication, what might happen? Help me out putting the effect in here. 
what would be the effect when workers don't have a good communication? They have problem in the process. Okay. You can put it on this. Look at this. They will, because it's future. The effect, you have to set it in future. They will have problems. Let's put it like this. In production. Okay. The second sentence, which is this one, is the effect. The second sentence has to be in future. Remember this. The first sentence using if or when is in simple present. And the effect has to be in future. Okay? So I can reverse this one like this. Check this out, guys. I can reverse this sentence like this. They will have problems. Check this out. In production, when workers don't have a good don't have good communication. So you see, what is the most relevant in here, guys? In here, like the most relevant part is that I don't have a comma in the middle of both sentences. It's only one sentence and like that. Okay. Are you guys understanding how it works, this uh, structure? Okay, great. If you're understanding, this is like a good way. Now, let's continue, guys. I'm gonna erase this and let's continue. Kenya, help me read in this example, please. Okay. If there is a lack of communication, it will decrease. Okay. Check this out. Thank you, Kenya. If there is a lack of communication between employees, comma, productivity will decrease. It's always like that, okay? It goes like that, you see? Productivity will decrease. So in this case, I got the cause in simple present and the effect goes in simple future. Or you can set it this way, right? With no comma in the middle. So, Osbin, help me out reading this one. Mm -hmm. The productivity mm -hmm. will, will decrease if there is a lack of communication between employees. Okay, very good. Thank you. Listen up. Productivity will increase, I mean, decrease if there is a lack of communication between employees. It's basically the same sentence. The only thing is that the effect is at the beginning and the cause is at the end. So in here, no comma is needed, okay? When this happens, you don't write a comma in the middle of the sentence. Good. Guys, until here, do you have any question? Any doubt? Okay, good. Next. Gabby, let me read it, please. Notice that the that the when if class is expressed in present tense and the in the in the in the independent. Independent class expresses future tense with will. Exactly. It's basically what we have been saying, right? So in this case, that's the way how we got it. Check this out. I'm going to make another example in here to you guys. Showing up this 
whiteboard. Look at this. Something, uh, I'm gonna test out something negative in a daily basis. Okay, uh, give me a second. Wait to you. Look at this. Something out of the topic. If Gabby, check this out. If Gabby wins the lottery, comma, remember the comma, she will, what will you do, Gabby, if you win the lottery? She will? Not talk to anybody else. No, not talk to my family again. Ah, I'm kidding. I probably, I probably will buy uh, my own house. Okay, she will buy her own house. Check this out, guys. If Gabby wins the lottery, she will buy her own house. I got this one as a good example to you. I can put it this way. Look. She, uh, okay, I'm going to set it like. Gabby will buy her own house if she wins the lottery, okay? You see, in the second example, I have the consequence in here. I have the consequence in here. So, and I have the if clause. Next, when this happens, you don't set a comma in the middle. But when you have the if clause at the beginning, check this out, you have a comma here, right? So you divide both sentences with a comma. That's what you, uh, what I, that's what I want you to understand, guys, okay? And another thing that I want you to understand is like, the if clause is always in simple present. And the, listen up, and the effect clause is always in future. Okay, at least using the first condition is this way. All right. I guess, guys, you are understanding this part. If you have already understood this one, why don't you give me one example, guys? Write down one example in your notebooks, okay? Write one example. Just for you to make it easier, do it in your own activities, based on your own activities or something uh, that expresses a condition to you, okay? But write down one example to me. Let me know once you finish. So you can read the uh, examples and I will write it down in here. Let me know when you finish, guys. Do you have issues, guys? Um, I'm ready. Okay. Gabby, 
if I graduate with good grades, my if, if I graduate with good grades, my parents uh, before my parents. Um, okay, good. My parents will pay for my postgraduate. Oh, master. Yes, okay, for my master. Okay, I mean, that's nice. Good example, thank you, Gabby. Yeah, this is the way. You got the if clause in simple present until here. Okay, then it's separated by a comma and the second uh, sentence in future, all right, is divided. Good. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, let's go. If I study for the exam, I will get a good grade. If I study for the exam, I will get a good grade. Like that, Daisy? Yes. Is not missing something, Daisy? Uh, comma. Huh? Uh, the, the comma. And where is the comma? Located. Uh, next exam. <laughs> exactly. Okay, it's in here. Remember, if you had, I will get a good grade. If I study for the exam. Exactly. For the exam. Now, no comma needed. Okay. That's mm -hmm. the way how, okay. how yes. a comma. Okay, good. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you. Okay, who's next? You're welcome. Nice. Me. Oh, okay. Good, Kenya. If I go to sleep early. Give me a second. If I I go to sleep early, I will be. I will have energy tomorrow. If I go to sleep early, I will have energy tomorrow. That's it? Yes. Yes, but the comma. With comma. Where? After early. Okay, very good. Yes, it's in here. Right? The division. Thank you, Kenya. You did it excellent. Now, oh... Which one is going to be, Manuel, Daniel, or Osmin? You're missing guys. Me. Okay, go. Me. If, if Lorena read, if Lorena read, uh, inspirational books. If Lorena reads and? Reads and inspirational book book comma she will be more intelligent more intelligent and solve possible pro problems Okay, she will be more intelligent. I didn't listen, guys. Yeah, yes, and solve and solve possible problem. Solve possible problem in her life. Like this. Life, yeah. Okay, all right. No matter how long is the effect, 
you have to divide. Only for reading, yes. With a comma, right? <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, and the first one, remember, it has to be in simple present, and the other one is in future using will. Okay, nice. So in here, we are expressing future. Manuel, give me yours. Okay. Uh, and then, if my, Daniel. If my, if my mom buys a new car, she will give me the old car. A new. Comma next to the car. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, if my mom buy a, da, 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 da. A, a new car, comma, she will give me the old car. All car. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you, Daniel. I mean, thank you, uh, Manuel. This is the way. Perfect. Now, Daniel, I think you're the last one. Me. Oh, oh, yeah. The other one. Are you, you other were one. one that you were the one that gave it to me, right? Uh, okay. Yes, the Lorena Red. Yeah. Osbin, you were the one that is missing, Osbin. Okay. You I <laughs> sorry, Daniel. <laughs> okay, Osbin. Uh -huh. Okay. If I study more English, I will be bilingual. Like this has been? Yes. Something missing has been? Yes, the comma. Where has been? After early, after uh, English. Okay, very good. In here is missing. Oh, yeah. Really. Okay. Very good, guys. I guess you have understood the way how it works. Okay. Now, we're just gonna read this part. I'm gonna show you what are we going to read. I wanted your manual to go to this page, guys, specifically to this exercise, exercise four. What it says in here, this is like the last thing that we're gonna be doing, okay? And we are just going to read in here. It says, Rewrite the sentences below to make statements using clauses with when and if expressing future, guys. Modify the verbs when necessary, okay? Check answers with a, uh, with a classmate. Now, let's do it. Daisy, read number one, please. Read, only read. Yeah. And I will. The organization of the doc is bad. Time is waste over unnecessary task. Aha. How can I transform into a when or a when class this sentence, Daisy? When? Aha. You see when. Okay, I will help you up on. This. I don't know. <laughs> I will help you up on this one. Check this out. When the organization is bad, comma, time is. Uh, 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 will be wasted over. Unnecessary task. You see? And you ah, can this. Okay. When the organization okay. is bad, comma, 
time will be wasted over unnecessary tasks. Good. Okay. Now, try to do the other ones, guys. Okay, that was Daisy's one. Gabby will do the second one. Manuel number three, Osby number four, Daniel number five, and we're done. Y Kenya, Kenya los va a revisar. Kenya is going to check. <laughs> Good. Gabby, how is, how is number two? Um, if the, could you please, uh, yes, thank you. If the financial department sends inaccurate reports, the um, money will be lost. If the financial department sends inaccurate uh-huh or we can move it like uh well money will be lost if the financial department sends inaccurate reports can we switch yeah we can switch it money will be lost lost okay very good or you can say as you said money will be lost if the financial department sends in accurate reports. Exactly. Very good. So this is number two. Thank you, Gabby. Manuel, number three. Give me a second, please. <laughs> you got when in parentheses there. Okay. When the when the water hose, when the when the water hose is limit, let me the see. The brooks. The product is this organization. Okay, when the warehouse. The warehouse space is limited, comma. Uh -huh. Is this organization and the, and the warehouse or the product is this, this organization. There will be the uh -huh. There will be like this. Man. There will be like this, Manuel. Thank you, Kenya, for helping Manuel out. Okay. okay thank you. Manuel. So in this case, there will be habrá desorganización. There will be. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Now, who's next? Daniel or Osbin? Me, teacher. Okay, Osbin, read it. When the employees open boxes in count hidden, hiding. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. The time. When the employees open. Boxes. Ah, okay, good. And count items. Comma. Ah, okay. The time will be wasted. Okay, very good. Thank you, Osbin. You did it excellent. This is the way how it works. Now, Daniel, you're the last one. Daniel, you got the microphone off. Sorry, I will switch the sentence. For example, if they decide to feel, fulfill order in praise, there will 
lack of communication will be lack of communication between employees. That's possible. How? Let me see. If the time to fulfill order increase, there will be lacks of communication between employees. That's possible. That's possible to say like that. If the time to fulfill orders increases, there will be lack of yeah. communication. Not actually, Daniel, because, no. because you change completely the meaning. It's like, like in Spanish like this, it will be look, right? Si hay carencia de comunicación o falta de comunicación entre los empleados, ¿qué va a pasar? El tiempo para completar las órdenes va a incrementar, right? Ahora bien, if you do it the way you're saying, sería, si el tiempo para incrementar Listen, si el tiempo para incrementar las órdenes, actually, como, ah, that would be the way. Habrá falta de comunicación entre los empleados. All right. So in this case, it's like a little bit weird talking about the, 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 the result. Okay. Like that. It's like a little bit weird. So it's mostly, the cause is mostly uh, the first thing, right? The negative part. And then in future, the positive part or the effect that happens. The effect. Okay. In this case, if there is a lack of communication between employees. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh, comma, uh -huh. the tie will feel, will feel. Will? Will feel or will to feel? I don't know, I, I don't sure. I don't sure. Will feel or will to feel? Fulfill. Fulfill. Or this in prices. Will. Or this, oh, okay. Are you sure it's like this? I think. What do you guys think? Is that correct? Probably will be better if we uh, move will after orders and before increases. Ah, okay, perfect. It's because it is like kind of doesn't fix if we write down will over here. Why? Because fulfilled is like not a main verb in this case, right? The time fulfilled others will increase. And now increase is the main verb in the in the sentence. Okay. Okay. And you got it like that. You see? The time fulfilled orders will increase. In this case, and let's write two over here to make more sense. The time to fulfill orders will increase. You see? But the idea here is, remember, in the if clause, we got simple present. In, listen up, in the effect clause that comes after the if or when is in future tense, using generally will, okay? All right, guys, any question before we go? Any doubt? No? Okay, good. I'm gonna stop sharing this. And guys, uh, nobody, tell, nobody told me something, but I'm very sure that we are not having classes next week, okay? So we are going to come back and uh, give an end to this course on uh, Monday the 10th right on monday the 10th we're gonna come back in here uh spend the whole week that week and we're gonna finish basically this course if everything goes okay 
We are going to be finishing this module in da, 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 April. Give me a second. April the 17th. Monday, April the 17th. Okay. So, guys, before passing the attendance list, I wish you can have a good vacation. All right. With your family, friends, or whatever, if you are going to have vacations, right? And uh, got luck the whole week. <laughs> right. So, I'll go ahead and pass the attendance list now because it's too crowded this 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 room let me see carmen eugenia all right so she's there now christian alejandro nah he didn't show up daniel archimedes present nice daisy Maritela. present okay nice elwin alexander Present. Okay, great. Edwin Vladimir. Nah, he's not there. Okay. Uh, I didn't see him. Estela Mabel. All right, so no here. No, I didn't see her. Fatima Adriana. I didn't see Fatima. Fatima Lourdes. Hmm. She was there, but probably left. Jaime Antonio didn't get connected. Eduardo is no longer connected. Carla Lisette, all right, so she's there, but she's working. Kenya Cecilia. Present. Okay, great. Manuel Antonio. Present. Good. Lorena Beatriz. All right, Lorena was there, but she got disconnected. Okay, Maria Gabriela. Present. Nice. Mary Raquel is not here. No, no, no. Noemi Betsabe didn't connect today. And the last one, Osbin Alexis. No, so he got problems with the internet. Okay, good. So, guys, thank you for getting connected. Let's see you the following week, okay? After next week. Bye bye guys. Bye bye. bye. Happy bye. birthday. Have a good vacations. All right. Bye bye. Okay. So basically, the topic that we were discussing tonight it was uh, provide suggestions to solve common issues related to the warehouse processes, right? But in the grammar part, we were focusing on first conditionals, right? To, to express actions in the future. Let's remember when we use a uh, first conditional, you got two main words to create a conditional. You got when and you have if. Mostly if is like the one that we commonly use, right? And uh, when is like not that really common, but it is still used. And remember the structure guys before uh, finishing the class. The structure, it goes like in the if class or when class, you get to set up simple present. And in the effect or main class in this case, it has to be in future, generally using will, right? So that's going to be everything for tonight. And let's see you in another video conference. Bye-bye.